one time there was a, there was like a festival around my area and I just went down and people laughed at me, you know, because I wasn't any good. So like about two or three months, I started practicing and I started making up a whole lot of freezes. Competition is tradition, you know, because that's how most of this whole scene came about. You know, it's just like you trying to outdo me and I'm trying to outdo you. If we can't defeat each other, team up. A b-boy has to have his own identity, first of all, especially the name is very important, who you go by, like Crazy Legs name, everybody know, that's world famous and he lived up to that name. It took Ken Swift a while to have an identity behind his name because he went through name changes from Kid Zoom to Ken Rock to Ken Ski to Ken Swift. Once he got that name Ken Swift, it all fell in place for him. People call me Frosty because of my last name. I just added the Y, but the freeze I'm more known to because of, because of the freezes that I started making up really in 78. Like, I would never say it would exaggerate like I'm a man of a thousand freezes, but anything I did at the time would be in a different freeze. The craziest move I ever came up with and everybody knows what that is. It's called, we call, I call it the backbreaker, but it was known in the movie Flashdance as a suicide. That's, that's a real power move where if I did that on my opponent, what would he do? It's, it just throws you in a different direction. It just, it just confuses you. I, I'm, I'm a good instigator. I might go down like that, tie my shoe. That's just a mini freeze. Tie my shoe, get up, and then bring him out like this and be like, next. So take your moves back to the rehab or, you know, try, try again. 1985, the breaking scene was like fading away and I was struggling. One year, I didn't even know what a $20 bill looked like. But I think the jam on the groove play, which happened, I think, in 94 to 96, I think that started it, that uplifted it again. And then the Rock City anniversary, more b-boys started coming to an event. 1997, I had a setback, you know, my health, I wasn't doing too good. I ended up being hospitalized. You know, I had pneumonia and I lost a lot of weight. And then again, I kind of lost my will. My b-boy future, I think it's like, it's up in the air. Sometimes I look at myself as a limited b-boy, which, you know, if I was in better shape, but you know, 20 years later, we're in our 30s, and we're still doing this. We're not physically in shape or advanced like some of these other b-boys, but we know how to perform. I'll be remembered as a b-boy, but I'm gonna live and die as a human, you know? 